problems that are presented to you in a chart form. It's the same kind of problems that we've been working on. It's just given to you in chart form. So if I want to complete this, I have to use my formula, A equals A sub 0, E to the KT, and plug in with the information I know. To find the Philippines, let's say, I've got the population in 2007, and I have the growth rate K. I want to predict what it is in the year 2025. So this is A equals A sub 0, which is 91.1, E to the K, 0.0147, times the number of years from 2007 to 2025, which is 18. This is a straight calculator problem. All you have to do is type this into your calculator. However, when you do e to the, be sure you've got parentheses around this. And this works out to be about a, a 118.7 million. So in this case, it was just straight calculator. One of these where I have to find k. So it is 55.2 going in for a, 44.4 going in for a sub 0, e to the k I don't know, but I do know the number of years from 2007 to 2025 is 18. So to solve this, we're going to divide both sides by 44.4. This will be e to the 18k. So 55.2 divided by 44.4 is 1.24. Take the natural log of both sides. And this is 0.2177 equals, that cancels out, 18K. Divide both sides by 18, and K is 0.0121. So that's what would go in our chart right here. Point area, 6.3 is our amount in the year 2025, and because that's a later year, it's the one that's over here on the left by itself, and this is 7.3 E to the K times t, which is still 18 years. Notice it's okay for the smaller number to be by itself because what's happening to this population is it's gone from 7.3 million down to 6.3 million. So what kind of k would you expect if that's the case? We'll see what happens. 6.3 divided by 7.3 is 0.863 equals e to the 18k. Solve it like we do on these other ones. Take the natural log of both sides. Ln of 0.863 is negative 0.147. Were you expecting a negative? Equals 18k, because those cancel out. Divide by 18. And k is negative 0.0082. So our k value is negative 0.0082. Remember what I said on the first screen, and that is, if k is greater than zero, the population is growing. See, it went from 44 million up to 55 million. But if the k value is negative, that means your population is decreasing, which is exactly what's happening in Bulgaria. The half-life of a substance is the time required for half of a given sample to disintegrate. Different substances have different half-life values. So radium-226 has a half-life of 1,620 years. Uranium-238 has a half-life of 4,500 years. Arsenic-74 has a half-life of just 17 days. Calcium-47 has a half-life of 113 hours. This is just a couple little examples of elements and their half-lives. The idea on half-life is this. Let's just make up something. Let's say I've got this much stuff, and its half-life is two days, let's say. Well, after two days, half of it's gone. So that's gone. I'm down to this. So two more days, half of this is gone. Two more days, half of this is gone. So the amount of sample we start with just keeps disintegrating, and it disintegrates at these particular rates. I said this half-life was two days, and that's why after every two days, something went away. This, uranium-238, has a half-life of 4,500 years, meaning it's going to take 4,500 years for just half of it to go away. Now let's look at a couple examples of how this is used. Exponential decay can be used to determine the age of fossils and artifacts. This method is based on considering the percentage of carbon-14 remaining in the fossil or artifact. 
Carbon-14 decays exponentially with a half-life of approximately 5,700 years. Thus, after 5,700 years, a given amount of carbon-14 will have decayed to half the original amount. Remember my example a minute ago? Here's our amount, but instead of it decaying in two days, after 5,700 years, boom, half of it's gone. Another 5,700 years goes around, goes by, and half of it's gone, et cetera, et cetera, till what's left is so minuscule. So the exponential decay model for carbon-14 is this. This is the same model we have been working with. Remember this from the first screen? A equals A sub 0, E to the KT. It's just in this case, our K is negative 0 0.000121. That is decaying, and that's why it is a negative value for K. So let's see what you have to do to do a problem. An artifact originally had 16 grams. The original amount is always our A sub 0. Use this model to determine how many grams will be left after 9,296 years. So this is just a really plug it straight into your calculator problem. We're looking for the final amount. We're starting with 16 grams, e to the negative 0.000121 times t, and t in this case is 9,296. So like I said before, be sure you've got this in parentheses when you raise this to the power. Type that all in, and it's 5.20 grams. And the reason it's 5.20 is that Math Lab is telling you to round your answer to two decimal places, so we do need the zero there. Story cave paintings were discovered in a cave in France. The paint contained 15% of the original carbon-14. Estimate the age of the paintings. Well, what we don't have here is the initial sample amount. So what we have to do is go back to the formula here. And you know, on all the problems we've done so far, our first step has been to divide A by A sub 0. But in all the other ones we've done, these have been numbers. Well, this arithmetic really has already been done. What's, le what's left is 15% of the original. So A over A0 is 0.15. That's how much is left. So we've already done that initial division. And this is just equal to E to the negative 0.000121t. We can go directly to take the natural log of both sides. The natural log of 0.15 is negative 1.897. Ln e cancels out. Negative 0.000121t. Divide by this negative 0.000121, and t works out to be 15,000. 678.7 years. So this artifact is 15, 000, over 15,000 years. Similar problem, skeletons were found at a construction site in San Francisco in 1989. The skeletons contained 88% of the expected value. So the same idea, if I divide both sides by a sub 0, this a over a sub 0 is 0.88. And that equals e to the negative 0.000121t. Take the natural log of both sides. So f is negative 0.1278 equals negative 0.000121t. To solve this, just divide both sides by this, negative 0.000121, and t is 1056. 40 something, 47 I think it is, which rounds because Math Excel says to round to one decimal place to 1056.5 years.